Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. My name is Brian and I'm with SmartSafe's Technical Support and Training Group. Today we'll be performing a front radar calibration on a 2023 Mazda CX-9. We'll be using the iSmartLink 801 display tablet along with the LAC0503 corner reflector. Now let's get started. We'll begin the ADAS calibration by installing the VCI, which is located right here in our display tablet, and we'll connect it to the vehicle's OBD2 port. We'll then go ahead and place the ignition into key on position two. And we have a connection on the VCI and we'll go ahead and reading the vehicle's VIN information at this time. Okay, the vehicle specification display has come up. We have the VIN. We see that the model is the CX-9. It's the, um, the four-wheel drive version. And so we'll go ahead and press OK. Now the very first thing we want to do before we do any kind of calibration is we want to start with the ADAS system scan. So we'll select ADAS system scan. We'll start scanning. Now this vehicle currently doesn't have any DTC codes, uh, but we'll pretend that it does and we'll go ahead and move forward and calibrate the front radar camera or the radar uh, front radar. So we'll choose ACC radar calibration, radar aiming. We'll get an alert saying that this is going to make a change in the vehicle. So we'll say okay to that. And we'll be prompted to say, you know, why are we doing this change? So for example, if the radar sensor was replaced or maybe something was changed in the bumper, uh, any of those things would require a radar calibration. So we'll say yes. So the first step here is we need to determine our straight line for our vehicle. So we need to determine uh, two points on the vehicle in the front and the rear. And we'll be using our um, plumb bomb as well as our, la our five point laser. And we'll go ahead and walk through those steps right now. First, we'll go ahead and determine point A on the front of the vehicle. So we're looking for the center and we'll use our plumb bomb here and look for the center point. And we have our corner markers here, or, or our cross markers, and we'll use that to place here to mark the point of, to mark our center point. And we'll take our five line laser and put that right over the cross mark. And we'll make sure that our laser is level as well. We have a level indicator right here on top. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to finding point B at the rear of the vehicle. Here at the rear of the vehicle, we're going to determine our point B and look for the center line. So we'll use our plumb bomb, just as we did in the front, find our center mark and use our cross pad to determine. Then we'll take our LAM0903 laser reflector and place that on the cross mark. Returning to the front of the vehicle, or point A, we will use our LAM0904 auxiliary mirror to see the laser that's pointing to the rear reflector. This will enable us to adjust the five line laser And now we have a straight line, a center line for the vehicle. Next, we need to determine our point C 
which is 5,000 millimeters away from the center point. So we'll go ahead and measure that using our tape measure. And we'll measure it out all the way to 5,000 millimeters, which is gonna take us right about here. Then with our five point laser, we can go ahead and line up target here at point C. And we can see our laser, our laser point right there. So we know that we are pointing straight to the vehicle. Next, we'll go ahead and turn on our laser and make sure that we're hitting directly at the center of the vehicle's emblem. And the last step will be to adjust the height, which is about 710 millimeters. And we're now ready to calibrate. Okay, with all of our settings in place, we'll go ahead and hit, click on the calibration button. Our ignition is set to position two, hit okay. It's processing. and we have a successful calibration. We'll go ahead and put this ignition switch to the off position. And we'll confirm our report. And we have, we've completed our, our radar calibration, our, our front radar calibration. This completes the front radar calibration. It was a success. And thank you for watching our video.